Hi there, I'm George Papanicolas, Joico Celebrity Colorist, and welcome to my Hollywood Beauty Insider Tip. All right, so before we get started, let's talk about what we're going to do with our hair. Elizabeth's got this gorgeous chocolate brown hair, and we want to just give it a very soft, natural, subtle, highlighted effect. We don't want to create anything crazy, nothing too dramatic. So the products you're going to want to use when you're mixing for the balayage effect is going to be Joico's Vero Light, and you're going to want to mix that with 40 volume developer. And the reason why you want a stronger developer is because the balayage is all out in the open. You know, nothing's placed in a foil, so you need something stronger that's going to be able to give you enough lift. And the consistency you're going to want it to be in is almost like a yogurty consistency. You don't want it to be too thick or too pasty because you want something that's free flowing that can just kind of move through the hair. So the first thing you're going to look at is see how her haircut is tailored. If she's got a lot of layering, that means you're going to have to add a lot more highlights. If it's all one length, you don't have to add as much. So you can see we've sectioned her into a U shape and this is the way you're going to work up the hair. You're going to, this is going to be our first section here and then once we're done with this, we're going to drop the next section and then layer another layer of highlights on it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start off with a small section. This is about a two inch section of hair right here. And when you're starting at the root area, the most important thing is keeping the highlights very delicate at the root area. You never want to go really heavy handed. So just pick up another section and you're going to again create the soft delicate highlights and feather it up as you move up. And that's kind of the key that I find creates the best effect. Start a little bit heavier in the middle and then just feather it up the hair shaft. And this is the one place when you're doing the hair, like we've been doing V shapes all around, but when you do the hairline you want to kind of get that whole hairline, but again, as I said, it's, it's the pressure and how much you put on is really going to dictate how much lightness you get. So the heavier your hand you get right at the hairline, the much more bright it's going to get. So we want everything to be very, very soft and natural and very, very delicate. So we're just doing a very sheer translucent amount of lightener. So now that we've finished our last section, you can see We've, we've actually hit, it looks like we've hit a lot of the hair, but really if you look underneath, there's no lightener on these pieces. It's very much just on that light surface. So again, these are the keys. Keeping a very delicate touch, you can see they're very fine, delicate highlights at the root, and it gradually gets thicker and heavier as you move down the hair shaft. And like I said earlier, the lighter application is going to give you less lift. As you move down the hair shaft, you're going to get more lift and these pieces around the face, these are your face framers. These are, the, these are the key ones. These are the ones the client really wants to see. So those are the ones that you don't have to be afraid of. You just want to just be very, very delicate with those because again, if you're heavy handed, the client's going to notice. So you need to be very, very soft, very, very delicate, and then get a little bit heavier as you move down the hair shaft. And there you have it. Very much inspired by Mila Kunis and Jessica Biel. You can see these highlights are just so beautiful and so seamless. Join us next time for our next Hollywood Beauty Insider.